Hello, my name is Solomon Martinez, and before I present my story, I would like to give a huge, huge shout out to those many, many people who have been in my life, impacted it, inspired me to be the person I am today. My story does not start in Pasco, Washington, 1998, when I was born. It starts when I was growing up in San Jose, California, as the only child at the time, until I even came along, Angel and my beautiful, my princess, Caroline. Um, life in Cali was not easy. It was a fast pacing lifestyle, always working and always going to school, but not with the guidance of my parents. Instead with the guidance of either their friends or somebody who I consider my grandma, Delia, my nana. She helped me to be a person of better and she was the first one who taught me my ABCs, my one, two, threes. I, I soon was growing up without parents and I chose to find attention. And in Cali, the only attention I was able to find was gang members, gang members, specifically Norteños. Through there, I, I felt loved, I felt attention. So I didn't care who they were, I just wanted that attention. So my teacher, Miss Bish, saw that I was not doing something good and I should be quitting what I was doing since I was barely a fourth grader. She soon took me under her wing and guided me and told me that I had the potential to succeed in life and be somebody that one day I would be honored to be. I soon started going to Turin after school and started doing homework and homework and soon I, my goal was to get an honor roll. Days, months later, Miss Bish comes to me and tells me, Solomon, congrats. You have earned your first honor roll. At that time, I was a fifth grader. I was excited yet sad because I knew my parents were not going to make it. However, I was wrong. I step on stage looking fresh, going to the principal, I get my certificate and as they tell us to look to my parents, my parents were there, they were there for the first time, the first time in all these years where they missed out, me dancing to chicken dance, to De Colores, to all these assemblies, all these field trips, they finally, finally came through, this, this was a big game changer in my life that I don't know what I would have done if this moment would never happen. Now, I would like to talk about high school, my second stage of life. High school, what can I say? I come from a small school called Prescott High School, where not many students come out. And the story behind my high school is, last year, three students came to WSU. And by the end of first semester, three students went back. Knowing this, I had a lot of pressure, not just from friends, not from my own family, but from everybody. I had the world against me. And as involved as I was this year, and as happy as most of you, Camp Brothers, Camp Sisters, saw me, I was truly alone. I was truly alone because I was the first. I'm the first from my family. I'm the first from, I'm the only from Prescott High School. And being here just alone, it, it made my life difficult. Because not to be envy, not to be jealous, I would see how how they bonded people from Kennewick, people from Yakima, people from Wenatchee. So I, I felt alone. However, I soon turned this negative into a positive. By hanging out with a lot of my camp brothers, camp sisters, um, joining Mecha, being involved in Students United for Progress, and of course, as you all know, being involved with a multicultural community, um, you know, from Omega Delta Phi, Fraternity Incorporated, L uh, the Betas, OMT, to KDK, LTA, you name it. Through this, I, I found a freedom that that started firing me, started passionate me in college, and that was to advocate for the Chicanx community, for the multicultural community. I've been everywhere from protests to advocating to marching, and now I have my own page, Gorgeous Projection Incorporated, to advocate, to keep putting and promoting out there my people, my gente, the Chicanx community. Apart from that, 
the freedom was not something in my favor. This freedom took over my mind knowing that I was just a freshman and I used that excuse many times. Oh, I'm just a freshman. I would constantly go to central gatherings, go to mics, go to parties, go, you would see me everywhere. And as you know, this is not bad. It took over me and I truly took a big L this year. However, as Salomon is, I will bounce back. And that's all I have to say to everybody. I'm thankful for my freshman year here at WSU and you better bet you will hear about me in these next years. And don't worry, you have a friend of me here. No matter how old we get, no matter where we live, Maribrook, Border Creek, we'll stay we'll still hang out. And my respects to my camp cohort. I truly enjoyed my time here with all of you. Um, you have a friend here and much love and I wish you all the best. Just know we will make it in this world.